Oh, look at that. That's fabulous. This is a little taller though. Hmm, beautiful. Hmm, just a splash more olive juice next time. Oh, this color is beautiful. Look at that. Copper? I bet that's a hot new trend. So chunky and angular. Beautiful. Ooh, you know it's copper because it's made from pennies. Have you ever wondered what's inside that nasty old tank in your basement or garage? On the build show today, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Nice, Jordan. Well done, my man. Just flap it back, that's fine. Very interesting. Look at that scale. What we've got here is scale from the hot water is building up on the whole inside of the tank. So let's see if we can flake some of this off here. So look at that right there. It looks like sand, but what you're seeing actually is mineral deposits in the water are depositing on the outside surfaces of this water heater. So on the, on the tank walls, it's depositing. It's depositing on the flue, and it's gonna deposit probably pretty heavily in the bottom of the tank. Although, interestingly enough, there's less in the bottom of the tank than I, than I thought there might be. So look there, that's all scale. It looks like sand, but believe it or not, that's scale. Now, that, I'm assuming that's calcium and some other minerals that are inside the water. Now, this is an old tank. This is our oldest tank in the bunch, and this is a gas tank. So let's go cut some other ones up and see what else we see in the other ones. Next up, 2001 Electric. gosh wow that is incredible holy <laughs> I, I i'm absolutely floored by this i mean there is so much scale on this thing it's unbelievable i mean look at this guys i mean look at this I mean, we are talking massive scale. Look at this side right here. Let me flake it off with my knife. This will be, this will be kind of fun. I mean, this is like something out of a Star Wars movie. Look at this. Look at that cake right there. You ready? One, two, boom. Now these are the heating rods right here and there was a sacrificial anode somewhere in here. It might be this right here. I mean, this is just, it looks like sand, just massive amounts of it. Golly. It's also interesting that the heating elements though, which you would think that the scale would form right where the hotness is. In fact, you know, if this was a gas tank, I'd expect most of the scale to form on the bottom because it's the heat that's causing the minerals to come out of the, um, the hard water. But in this case, it looks like it's deposited pretty uniformly on the sides, maybe not even as much on the bottom. Guys, if there's a, if there's a chemist in the uh, group that can tell me the, um, uh, the action behind this. I'd love to know why we're seeing more scale really on the top of the tank. Oh, you know why? We're probably seeing more scale on the top of this tank because the hot water is rising. The cold water is falling to the bottom. And so we have a tendency for that scale to form in the hotter parts of the water. And that's why we're seeing kind of this mushroom cap of scale forming. In fact, let's, let's put our knife right here on the top. Watch this right here. So this is the wall right here. This is the metal wall. And this is the scale forming right there. And we've got on this tank, gosh, I don't know, maybe two inches or so of scale at the top of the tank, inch and a half maybe, formed right here at the, at the top of the tank. 
Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And, and just look at the massive amounts of it just all in the tank. That is gross to think that that's your hot water. Wow. Now this is an old tank. This thing is, let's see look in, there's like mud or something in here too. What is that, I wonder? That's probably some rust maybe that you're seeing. Oh, that is disgusting in there. This is an old tank, 2001. So this is not new, 17 years old. But to see that much in there, I'm curious to see what these newer tanks look like. All right, Jordan, let's give the newer one a try. Next up, 2005 electric. I'm curious to see if this slightly newer tank is gonna be any better. Oh, that lifted right off. Oh my gosh, so interesting. Look at that, guys. Not nearly as much scale. Gosh, I don't know what to make of this. Look, guys, we've got scale for sure. I mean, look at that. There's no doubt there was scale here. But what's really interesting is, unlike the last one that had that massive scale cap, look at these walls. I mean, these walls look amazing on this unit. Even the top, nothing on there. I'm curious if this one maybe had a water softener compared to this one that maybe had hard water. It's hard to know, of course, because I don't know where these came from, but this model, 2005, 13 years old, I mean, it looks really good inside. If I were just comparing these two, I would have thought maybe this one was just a couple years old, but really very different result. I wonder if this one had a softener and this one didn't. That's all I can think of, because look how, look how really pristine these walls are. We just have a little bit of scale. If this unit here would have been flushed regularly, I think you probably could have flushed most of this out. It's very loose. It's not uh, clinging to anything. All right, now let's get on to uh, a slightly newer gas unit and let's see what this one looks like. Okay, last up, 2016 gas. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, so this one now, 2016. Thank you, Jordan, for uh, can opening another unit for me. Look at this. Really, not much at all in the base of this. Again, the sides look good. Just a little bit of scale here. But uh, overall, this one looks really good. Very interesting to see four different units, two gas, two electric, one that looked terrible, and the others, not horrible. All right, guys, so let's close this out. Very interesting and varied results inside these four units. You know, the newer units, well, actually, this one's actually fairly old, 2005, not that new. Not very much scale and really nothing building up on the walls on the inside. I think that maybe if these units uh, had a regular flush, they probably would be in good shape. I also wonder if this 2005 model here maybe had a water softener and that's why really nothing happened. Now on these other units here, a little bit older, 2000, 2001, a lot of scale in here. In fact, this one, absolutely disgusting. Have you ever taken a shower and gurgled with the water? I think the takeaway is I wouldn't do that, especially if this is the unit that's in your house. I'd love to know your opinion on these. If you're a plumber, if you're a chemist, tell me what you think is causing these differences and why you see one that's absolutely disgusting and another one that's just a couple years newer, both electric, so you can't say that it's an electric versus gas thing here. And by the way, these, uh, these brands are several different brands. I'm really, I didn't want to, uh, to call out any particular brand. We're agnostic on this test, but I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Post a comment below. Big thanks to Jordan Smith. Go follow him on his channel. There'll be a link below. If you're not currently a subscriber to The Build Show, we publish every Tuesday and every Friday, so hit that subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show. This is a great episode. Don't fall over there, bud. R2-D2, don't fall over. All right. Okay, you ready? Great.